One of the questions I'm asked most frequently is how many times should I post to social networks? So the following are going to be some guidelines about best practice in terms of the major sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn and YouTube. Now these are guidelines, but ultimately your experience and your common sense is going to drive what kind of content and how often it goes out there. But these are a great place to start. So first of all, Facebook. Now over the last 12 months, Facebook has changed quite significantly in the way it deals with business pages. And now it's showing even fewer of your posts, even to the people who like the page. Therefore, frequency and quality of posting is actually quite important. The general rule of thumb or the current thinking is that you should be posting on Facebook at least one to three times a day. A minimum of one post a day, but no more than three. More than three begins to get a bit spammy and your customers do actually recoil from that slightly. So once a day to three times a day, good quality content that your customers are going to find interesting and valuable. And if they start interacting with your content because it's good quality, then Facebook will see that you are doing what it wants you to do, good quality content, and will start showing your posts to more people. But right now, at least one a day, all the way up to three a day. So next up is Twitter, probably one of the most divisive of all of the networks. In the reading that I've done, there have been cases from three posts a day through to 100 posts a day, which is one every 14 minutes. Now, I don't subscribe to that volume and it will definitely disengage with your customers. However, I would look to be getting between one to three posts a day on Twitter. Again, try to get the good quality stuff out there if you can. Um, but Twitter is so vibrant, it needs your attention, but it is a superb customer acquisition platform. So it is good to use. So one to three posts a day. Uh, if you're going to use something like Hootsuite or Buffer to help you schedule some of that, those posts and take the pressure off, that is absolutely ideal. And also because Twitter's nature is a little bit more snapshot, it's about, you know, quick sound bites. It doesn't necessarily always take as much time to create a Twitter post as it does to create a Facebook post. But all the way with Twitter, what you want to be doing is pointing people back to other things, your website, your blog, your shop, your product. Twitter's about here's something interesting. Click on this link to find out more. But one to three good posts per day. Next up is Instagram probably one of the most active and vibrant of the social networks out there at the moment and a great way to raise your brand's profile uh, amongst the very active user base that's on there right now. So what you're looking for is between one and three posts a day, very similar to Twitter. One to three posts a day and maybe once in a while a quick video and Instagram will allow you to upload no more than a minute's worth of video to your main feed. And that's what I would be thinking about all the time with your Instagram, good quality photographs, informal videos, up there one to three times a day. Also with Instagram, something you have to do is to use hashtags. Uh, if you're not familiar with hashtags, please do check them out. They're very important. I will be doing a separate video on hashtags over the next few weeks. But Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter and YouTube can use other means to understand what your post is about. So if you don't use hashtags on those platforms, you may well still be seen by people searching for your products and your services. However, Instagram hashtags are the only thing that can be searched. So if you're not putting some relevant good hashtags between three and nine hashtags per post, really minimum, you have no hope of being discovered by new people because it's not the way Instagram shows people your content. So ensure that you do have hashtags on your Instagram post. Also, you might want to think about doing an Instagram story once or twice a week. Stories are becoming one of the main ways in which people digest content on Instagram now with hundreds of millions of people viewing stories every day. So one or two stories, which generally have more informal, behind the scenes, summaries, uh, trending topics, great things for stories. That's the kind of thing you want to be putting out there. Uh, again, a great way to reach people. So if you're using Instagram, one to three general posts a day, and then maybe one or two stories a week.
So now to move on to LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn is for business to business. So if you're serving other businesses, you really do need to be on LinkedIn. It's a phenomenal place to gain connections and potential clients. As far as posting is concerned, LinkedIn is much less labor intensive than the other platforms. The general rule of thumb is that you want to be posting maybe once or twice a week. However, the important thing to remember with LinkedIn is that it is a business network. So your posts need to reflect your professionalism, your expertise, your ability to do what you're doing. It doesn't mean to say that you can't have more fun informal posts, but they do need to be business centric. So one or two a week that demonstrate that you know what you're talking about and add value to your potential connections and potential customers. The other thing you might want to think about on LinkedIn as well is articles. Now an article is like writing a blog within LinkedIn. I wouldn't worry too much about frequency for this. I would do an article on LinkedIn when you have something to say that requires more than just a short post uh, and certainly would never neglect an article on LinkedIn for blogging on your website. But putting an article out there is a much better way of showing people your expertise showing people how good you are at what you do, and it's a good way of exposing yourself to new potential clients and gaining many more connections. Now, YouTube is an interesting beast because there are different ways of using YouTube. There is, firstly, putting YouTube videos together to supplement other networks. So you want a video for Facebook or you want a video to go on your website and you dip into YouTube every so often to create content to share elsewhere. That's absolutely fine. The other way of using YouTube is if you want to get a specific YouTube presence. If your product is very video friendly or you're trying to make a living by vlogging on YouTube and you want to make that the center of your social networking. So for the first one, just dipping into it every so often, that's absolutely perfect. Um, your website will benefit from a YouTube video. Uh, video on websites works brilliantly. It really does add value. A video on a landing page can increase sales conversion by up to 80%. So using YouTube videos to enhance your website is absolutely brilliant. People love video content. And the great thing about creating a YouTube video is that all you do is copy a link to your website. So the video doesn't slow the page down at all and it can be watched by people to gain more insight into why they should buy your products or engage with your services. So that is firstly a very good way of doing it. One word of warning with that though, Facebook and LinkedIn do not like YouTube videos. Facebook in particular is trying to dominate the video market at the moment. So if you're going to use YouTube across other networks, really it's for Twitter and it's to enhance your website. What you want to do with LinkedIn and Facebook is to upload video directly to that platform. And I will do a separate video on this over the next week or so on the importance of video. And we will talk about linked video and native video, which is what you upload directly to a platform in context then. Uh, so do look out for that. But Facebook doesn't like links, it makes them look rubbish. So if you have a video file, upload it to YouTube for your website and for Twitter, but for Facebook, take the same file and just upload it directly to Facebook or directly to LinkedIn. It'll make a massive difference. But YouTube's still the very, very best way to get engaging video content onto your website. Absolutely perfect. The second thing is if you're trying to create a YouTube channel that people are coming to as a first point of contact, then that does require regular posting at least once a week and at a regular time, a bit like a television program. Uh, seven o'clock on a Friday evening is when your video goes out. So that kind of regular scheduled posting is very important. And then that does need to be backed up with social networks to tell people on Facebook and Twitter that you have a new video out to drive people to the YouTube channel where the video is going to be housed. Um, ideally though, if you want a significant presence, the more regular you can post, the better. And if you're posting every day, that is really going to make a big difference in terms of YouTube's algorithms and in terms of engagement that you have with customers. That does take a lot of work though. So if you're thinking about that to begin with, take it easy, create one video a week and get that out there at a regular time. That's the way to get started and established on YouTube and build it up from there. 
But the fact of the matter is we can talk about frequency as long as we like, but we have to also have quality. Now I could quite easily post a hundred things to Twitter today. I can use a scheduling tool and I can shove out a hundred tweets onto Twitter right now without take 10 or 15 minutes, nice and easy. However, if none of those 100 tweets contain anything relevant or useful to my client base, it has been a total waste of my time. So although frequency of posting is important so people get used to seeing your content, the most important thing is making sure the content that you put out there is something that's going to interest them, that add value, something that is going to make them like comment and share, which are the things you want people to be doing on all of your social posting. That's what gets it recognized by the platforms and out to more people. So do go for quality. Yes, you want to be posting regularly, but try to make sure that your posts are very much about your customers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video to be useful. Um, what I will do here now, up on a window floating over here somewhere, is going to be a video of the five cornerstones of content marketing. Down here is just the latest video that's gone up on the channel. And also floating over here somewhere is going to be a subscribe button you can click on so you can see more of this content as it is released. Uh, also, please feel free to give this a thumbs up. And if you think anyone else might find it useful, please do give it a share. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.